What's going on, everyone? It's your host, Spook Benjamin, a.k.a. Spook, and we back again with another banger. Now, this episode, we're we going to talk a little bit politic. A little bit politic with you. Not too serious, just a little bit. Because we got to stay informed, updated, and know what's going on in our, you know, our neighborhoods, our country. Now, we have good old Trump here. And what he states, not me, him, what he states is migrant crime will be worse than any other form of crime. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Let's get to the bottom of it. How do you plan to deport the millions of people? I mean, it's probably 12, 13 million people under Biden alone that have come here. And how will it work? Okay, it's going to... Hmm. So, you... I, I, I've been slacking a couple millions because I've been saying there's around 8 to 10 million illegal immigrants. Now, good old Ingram here. Ingram, beautiful lady. Good old Ingram here has stated that there's 12 to 13 million illegal immigrants in this country. 12 to 13 A little bit more than I thought. The work that we get the bad ones out first. They're coming in from prisons. They're coming in from jails and mental institutions. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all don't let the crazies in here. He done said they're coming from prison. They come from mental institutions. They're coming from jail. They just coming from anywhere. Goddamn fuck it. Anywhere. They coming from everywhere. Every angle. And we letting them in. Institutions. How will you find them? We're going to find them through local police. Look, the local police. Is That's right. He said we're going to get them boys in motion. We're going to get them boys in motion. And we're going to handle. When I, when I get in office, we're going to get right to the bottom of this illegal Im immigrant crisis. It, it ain't going to be no more feds over here. Giving free bans to the immigrants. There ain't going to be no more of that. All that crookedness. Crooked Biden. All of that get out the window when I get back in the office. All of that. They're so phenomenal. I love them. They love me. I think I have 97% support. They know everything. They know the first names. They know everything. And it's a new, it's a new category. I don't know if you've heard this, but I came up with this one. Migrant crime. This crime. By the way. Shout out to them boys, them boys in blue. Shout out to them boys. Good old folks. Good old game banging folks. The biggest gang in America. Shout out to y'all. Y'all doing y'all job. There's violent crime, there's migrant crime. We have a new category of crime. It's called migrant crime. And it's going to be worse than any other form of crime. You look at New York City, what's going on where they attack police. They want to fight police. Hold up. What he, what he, what he said about that, Mike? Hold up. Reverse. Reverse. And it's going to be worse than any other form of crime. You look at New York City, what's going on where they attack police. They want to fight police officers. Our criminals don't even do that so much, okay? I've never seen them having fistfights with the police officers. My, that, that's, a, that's a new term right there. I think Mr. President just coined a new term. Migrant crime will be... The far more worse crime than any other crime. Migrant crime. Wow. Wow. This is in the middle of the street. And we have to do something about it. These are tough people. Don't forget, they're not sending their finest. I know all the leaders of the South American... Well, they really hit you when you said that in 2015. You said they're it sending... It doesn't matter. And, yeah. and oh, now, like all the these Pilates. years later... Um, Everything turned out to be right. Well, CBC um, is telling Unf us that... Unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, President Trump was right about 90% of things, unfortunately. Mm. Um, Customs and Border Patrol announced yesterday that just in three days, 452 Chinese nationals have been apprehended by Border Patrol. And 452 Chinese nationals? 
what they got up going up in here, the Communist Party, what they, what they got going on up in America. But thanks to them boys, ICE. Thanks to good old ICE. They was apprehended. ICE, salute to y'all boys. Y'all handling business. Taking these folks back to their country where they belong. You handling business. Standing on business. I respect that. Mr. President, 20,000 Chinese have entered since October. Yep. Okay, this is, does this concern you more than other? 20,000 Chinese has entered in illegally too? This ain't looking too right for America. Nah, my boy Ron DeSantis on the last episode, if y'all look back, the episode where, where, where we was talking about Ron DeSantis, he said, I don't like predicting bad things, but I predict we might have a terrorist attack and it might come in from within. Due to all of these 13 million undocumented illegal immigrants. Are y'all with me? Y'all with me, right? Other immigrant groups. Uh, probably it would because it's China and maybe what are they building a, an army in between? It was 29,000 people on the last three. Think of that, 29,000 people. And most of those people were young male fighting age, okay? So what's going on? Look, you want to give the benefit of the doubt, but China was number one. And you look at Yemen, now they're coming in, we're bombing. Here we go again with this guy bombing everything. Bombing everything, gets no respect. He bombs and bombs, they're bombing Yemen. Well, they're bombing and us. we have a lot of Yemen. Yemen. Yemenis are coming into our country. We have people coming in from everywhere. They're coming in from the Congo. They interviewed some people last night. Where are you from, Congo? Where did you live? Prison. They're emptying out their prisons into What's our What's the country. first thing you will do if you become... Hold up. Hold up. They entering the door for Congolese ex-prisoners. You know what? Let's let's roll out the red carpet for their ass. Just roll out the red carpet. Roll it out for them. That's what y'all might as well just do. Give throw them the keys. Say, here go the keys to America. It's yours for the key. Cause that's how they acting. Get this administration. Under control, Mr. President. No disrespect. But get it under control. Before I have to get them boys in motion. Come, President, again <laughs> on the border. I know well, that's going to be your first act. There's two things I'm going to do. Number one is drill, baby, drill. And the other thing, equal, equal, is we're going to... Okay. Y'all heard my dog Trump, what he said. He said the first thing he gonna do is drill, baby, drill. If y'all don't understand what that mean, that mean the prices of oil is about to go down. That mean them gas prices about to be a dollar fifty, a dollar eighty. Yeah, gas about to be low again. The safest border in the history of our country, recorded history, because I can't tell you about a thousand years ago, but recorded history of the border by far. We had it down pat between guys like Tom Holman and Brandon Judd and unbelievable people that you have on your show. We had a great, all Biden had to do is stay at the beach. You know, he goes to the beach. Somebody said he looks great in a bathing suit. So he goes to the beach. If he went to the. That's y'all. That's that's the president of the United States, you know. Just living it at the beach, shirt off, some cargo shorts on, and letting the toes breathe. Good old Biden. The beach and didn't do it, but he canceled everything. Remain in Mexico, catch and release. We have catch and release, but we had release in Mexico. Why were you against the House, um, against the Senate border deal, the bipartisan border? Well, they allow 5,000 people a week, but a lot of people took it a as 5,000 people a day. They said 5,000 people a week, and you read it, and it says 5,000 people a day. Number one, that, but it also made it, it made it much better for the opposing side. You regularize, manage the crisis. It, you couldn't manage it. It was so complex. Uh, you're talking about, first of all, 
if you want to close the border, you're president. I didn't have any legislation. I had people opposed to me very strongly, including Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi. That was a little uh, triumvirate. And what I did after a year, I said, you know what, these people, I took the money out. We built 571 miles of border wall, and that's what made our border so good. We did another thing. I got 28,000 soldiers. For Let's give a round of applause. Round of, round of applause. From Mexico. I said to the president of Mexico, who I really like a lot. I think he's a terrific guy. He's a socialist, but a terrific guy. And he's fantastic, actually, in a lot of ways. I said, we need 28,000 soldiers to guard our border. He said, you got to be kidding. Oh, by the I ended up getting free of charge, 28,000. We had the safest border we've ever had. Now we have the most unsafe. We have the worst border in the history of the world. There's never... The worst border in the history of the world. Is this all by design? This got to be all by design. This can't be no coincidence. I don't believe in that coincidence stuff now. This can't be no coincidence. This, this, this got to be group planned out, blueprinted. And all. They got the schematics and everything of how this about to go down. Yo, government is in cahoots. With the migrants. Shh. Y'all catch my drift. Y'all catch my drift. Never been a border of any country anywhere in the world that's been like. Biden has announced, well, they've hinted that he. It's all by design. It's all by design. This is done on purpose. This ain't done on accident. This is done on purpose. He's going to come out with a border executive um, order on, uh, on the border to clamp down on illegal immigration before the State of the Union message. I thought he said he didn't have the executive authority. So I, I do believe that he's baked in. I don't think he can ever even come close unless people are really stupid, which they're not. The public is much smarter than the politicians. He's not. That's right. The public is more smarter 